Okay. Okay. Don't forget to record. Corner bus. Oh, yeah, 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 corner bus. Well, we're going to be running through the wastelands. Buses don't drive through forests. That's insane. That's a good point. Um, okay. We all we all remember the desert bus game. Yes. One of the best games ever made. Okay. So let's make some desert buses. Yeah. So actually, that's a requirement. Your bus has to, while driving forward, slowly veer to uh, the to, the, to the left. Well, let's go to the was right the because no, the left the right. is just a wall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I think it actually was to the right. I don't remember. I don't remember but, either. Yeah, okay. Do you do you know the uh, do you know the uh, the lore behind that game? Yeah, Peninsula would try to make a uh, whole bunch of games that were fucking awful. Yeah, they did. And they succeeded. <laughs> it just always amuses me that it's Penn and Teller, of all things, that made I know. Desert Bus. Yeah. Now, remember, your bus has like to be... a whole suite of, like, 18 games that were supposed to be awful. Yep. So, remember, your bus has to be big. So, you have to have at least uh, two rows of seats. And... Uh, I think I'm going to be able to accommodate that. I really would not be too worried. Okay. Yeah, you never know. Uh, but you want to mo model it off of, off of, you know, a regular bus as much as you kind of, sort of can. I'm not going to yeah, be, like, too stringent gotcha. here. But I want just, like, a giant rectangle with nothing in it. Oh, we're going to get decorative today. Oh, yeah. No, I, I agree. And here's the thing. I've ridden buses, like all day today so they are burning in my damn mind like this is going to be like a it's going to be a work of art i'll tell you that much okay that's good. It's gonna be a beautiful ass bus it's going to be an ass bus okay yeah you know it uh, at work uh <laughs> there's a running joke i tend to have my lunches really really late like two or three in the afternoon and I always invite people to late ass lunch, and uh, I've slowly but surely started uh, to call it late ass lunch. And people who aren't in the joke are like, "What the fuck is what?" And it's like, "No, dude, late ass lunch every day. Come and join us." They don't join us. Well, they're boring yeah, people. They're missing out on, on ass lunch. Yeah, seriously, ass lunch is like the best lunch. Yeah. Uh, we have just eventually started just calling it nothing but ass lunch at this point. <laughs> so, uh... I don't, I don't remember which movie it was. I want to say it was, like, Robin Williams. But I remember as a kid, there was a movie with Robin Williams where he ate a whole turkey with his behind. He was an alien, supposedly. But huh. really, I think it was just Robin Williams wanting to fuck around in a movie. Oh, wait! It might not have been Robin Williams. It might have been, um, Rick Moranis. Oh, okay. I honestly don't remember. It's been huh. a long time and it wasn't very good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it was actually pretty awful based it was, on the description. Yeah. I, but then again, let's be honest, like, a lot of the movies, like, we remember, like, as, like, oh yeah, Rick Moranis, like, every movie he's in is great. No, they are not. <laughs> I mean, for the a time. A lot of them. A lot of them are terrible. For the time, they were endearing, but that's not yeah. really. Like, Honey, Honey I Shr Shrunk the Kids was pretty good-ish. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I liked it. Yeah, it was alright. I think it was kind of more of an interesting thing. It was very wholesome content. Uh-huh. Rick Moranis has led a very interesting life, if you read about him. Yeah. Um, Like, the reasons why he quit, like, the movie industry and stuff it's like that. It's super sad. It is sad. His wife died, and he was like, well, I guess I have to be a stay-at-home dad now. And he was like, all right, yep. I guess I'm going to continue to do that. And that was the end of his career. Yeah, my acting is not as not as important as my kids. You know, which yep. totally, totally understandable. Mm-hmm. How wide are these four? Bleh. kind of wish I had, like, little blueprints. I could, like, copy. Speaking of... Fine. This will work out well. Yeah, they're adding up? blueprints. Yay! Yeah, actually, why don't you know? take... Was that announced today or something? Here, uh, on Friday. Press, uh... Ah, nice. Press Shift-Tab. We're gonna read the... We're gonna read the devlog. Uh, or just skim it to look at the things that are going to be upcoming shortly. Uh... Okay. So, load look creations. Right 
Which, we could very easily just load chunks of creations and stitch them together. Yep. Uh, nice, I see this. Looks yep. great. Uh, I see there's like weird like roller things. Uh, and the like load creation stuff. Uh, let me see, roller things. Well, yeah, those are just like, the tanks. Oh. oh. Yeah, That's I think they exciting. used that as like some kind of spoiler thing. I'm not really sure what they were trying to build there. Um, yeah. What are these also, blocks with, like, the plugs? Logic. So you can program shit now. Oh, yeah, So if yeah, you want to have, see. like, a switch turn on multiple Doors. things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, in and out. Timer traps. Uh, they're, they've got a custom engine yep. uh, that I think they're kind of working on, which hopefully will... Yeah, it says they're making a, uh, a new engine. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it solves a lot of the lag issues, because there's no way this game is going to make yeah. it to survival mode, as it currently is. Um, no way. Uh, and cool stuff that's it. working on. Farm bots, stuff like that. Yep, cool. Looks good. Yeah, main, main point is they're adding... Uh, Logic and, uh, like, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. This yeah. game, the developers are excellent. They're a yeah. great studio, and they've I, done a, a tremendous job. And I've been... this game is awesome, and I hope they're very successful. I mean, they must have made so much money from this. Oh yeah, like way more than, uh, probably than they possibly forty, could have expected. fifty million dollars. I think. Jeez. Yeah, probably. Uh, last I checked, but there's probably way more than that. We could check Steam Steam Spy. Like I don't know. This yeah. isn't going to be the next Minecraft, but it is definitely. No, there's never going to be a next Minecraft. Yeah, but it is de like if you were to point at contenders, this and Ark are the mm. two that I think of specifically when I think of, yeah. like, you know, games that kind of contend uh -huh. with not Minecraft specifically, but just the, like, the core Minecraft, like, popularity. Mm -hmm. And actually, you know, stick with it and don't suck. Because... Oh, apparently my stream is currently titled Factorio. Uh, uh, whoops. Let me my, see if I can fix that. My stream is titled Donk. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's fix this. I have to do this on the other computer, unfortunately, so I have to... Yeah, because you don't have multiple monitors. Nope. Oh, a bike man. rack to the front. <laughs> yeah, probably should. But I have had a hell of a day. I'll tell you... I, um, got, uh, we did the Space Needle today, did a cruise today, uh, went to two museums, got, like, dinner and stuff. Oh, I'm currently logged in as you, Lady Bird. Or you logged in as yourself. Okay, well, I guess I'm not changing the stream title then. That's oh, well. okay. <laughs> Could be too much of a pain. I don't think anybody cares that much. No, it also says I'm playing Factorio, but it's also, like, four hours later than, like, when all my, like, regulars would be awake in the first place, so... I, I remember your regulars specifically were always, um... Uh, were saying that, like, we watch Bird instead of you, Wander, because Bird actually streams at reasonable hours. Yeah. And I was like... And now I don't do that anymore. That because probably I doesn't moved. work anymore. Yeah. Yep. Oh, like, like, that time zone is... That time zone changes. Fucking brutal. But, oh well, I'll just get used to it. Alright. Fortunately, none of these windows are the right size. Uh... What can I do about that? Can I put... No, mm -hmm. can't do that. Okay. Yeah, I gave up on using the, the big windows for this. Yeah, they're just really inconvenient. Yeah. I figured, whatever, I'll just use the other stuff. The glass blocks are... They're decent enough. They get the job Yeah. Done. I really wish they had done, like, an unlined glass block, though. I think that would have actually yeah, looked Yeah, really and maybe nice. one that's not, like, so... Like, these are pretty opaque for glass blocks in a creative mode situation. Yeah. Would have been nicer if they were, like, more translucent. But oh well. Yeah. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, let's, let's make all the tire well, wheel wells. Yeah, my bus is way too short. I have now realized. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a there's an application in the world for short buses. Yeah. I just don't that's, think that that's what you were going for. <laughs> that's for British people. Oh. Have you ever been to... Yeah, Brexit was a pretty stupid decision. Have you ever <laughs> been to London before? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, when I went to London, uh, we were given... Instead of, like, any kind of transportation card, we were given a combined, uh -huh. um... Double-decker tour bus, uh... Slash subway card. It was really weird. What? And worked great. So you could take the double-decker buses, and they were just regular buses, but there was mm -hmm. always, like, a, either an audio track or a tour guide that would just be, like, telling random stories about everything. Uh... <laughs> Uh huh. And you have then, my attention. And uh, some of them are really interesting. Some are really boring. So there are a couple of uh, there are a couple of people that specifically were like talking about like you know Winston mm -hmm. Churchill Hill and World War Two. And this one guy only told stories about famous hom homeless people uh, and the huh. weird shit that they did. So the one guy uh, who wasn't a homeless person, he was a backpacker from I want to say Vienna. Or something. Uh-huh. Uh, somehow managed to make it into the Queen's Garden, which is, like, super private and, like, very illegal to make yeah. your way into. And camped out there for the night. Huh. Yeah. Uh, then the other guy who broke into the palace <laughs> to ask if he could use the loo. And he asked the and... Queen. He made it into the Queen's chambers. Her office. Wow. And what did so the queen say? She kindly <laughs> took him to the bathroom, and, well, Secret Service got in there. Or whatever the British version was. Now, of course, this is probably all, like, super hearsay. I have no way of verifying this. But it was really fun to hear the it's stories. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with believing it. At least somewhat. Alright, we need... Let me see. Last blocks. One, two, three, four, uh, five, Matt. six, seven, Matt. eight... Eh, close enough. So the other uh, random four five thing... and four five. We'll do both. So I've been playing a ton of... Uh, not Scrap Mechanic. Fallout 4, obviously. Uh, yeah. As is my... As I am wont to do. Uh, uh -huh. I have a mod specifically that makes it so I can increase sizes now. Uh, yeah? So I have... A size of what? Everything. Oh, yourself! Everything. Oh. Not myself. Oh. It's... Like, people, structures, uh -huh. turrets. I've got a, like, 15-foot turret on top of one of my buildings. It's pretty oh, great. Good. Uh, what else do I have? I have a very small deer cage, and so when I let the deers loose, the deer immediately pops into existence. Uh, but, like, <laughs> it's wearing the deer cage, which looks uh -huh. comically wrong. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of, like, really goofy, dumb shit. That I've run into, and I'm like, but Never Leave Sanctuary is supposed to be a serious challenge. Fuck. Aww. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like it actually matters. It's just one of those where it's like, you know, I'm supposed to be, like, surviving. And no matter what, I always just run into the situation of, well, it's just time to screw around now because I found a mod with the dumbest nonsense. Ugh. Well, as long as you're having a good time, that's the oh, important it's thing. a very good time. <laughs> do, do, oh yeah, um, I have a farming town specifically. Uh, my, uh -huh. pe I have so many people there that they always get in my way. So it's like move or I shrink you. And then I got sick of it and shrunk <laughs> everybody. Sadly, they all unshrunk themselves, which pissed me off a little bit. I think Aww. the farming animation would reset their size. Uh huh. Uh, much to my general. Oh yeah. By the way, no suspension glitch. What? No suspension glitch. It's a bus. Uh, They're not powered by suspension glitch. Okay, I guess I can probably figure it out. Figure it out, beef cocky. I'm uncomfortable being called that. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then we need a couple facing this way. 
to. Yeah, you no, know, Keith was arguing that uh, the suspension glitch makes things too easy. And you know what? If we're it doing does, desert, but it's fine. If we're, if we're making desert bus for for hope, we are making desert uh, for we are hope. making desert yeah. bus for bird. You know what? Actually, uh, you know what you know what desert bus for hope is, right? Of course. Yeah, they do it every year. Yeah, we right? should do we should do desert bus for for hope, but scrap mechanic style. That's fine. Do we just for, play scrap mechanic for like oh two weeks straight or whatever they end up doing? No, it wouldn't be like two weeks straight, but just like a really dumb huh. marathon race where you, me, wander, um, yeah, wander. Yeah. I found sillies. I found shenanigans getting here. Is are you trying to like go through the seats and it's like bugging out on you? Oh Just yeah, I've done this before. Seats. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had this happen with my train. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's pretty it's great. great. Yeah, your dwarf can't fit through that, but like you still kind of can. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to do about that. I guess uh, I'm. Kind of fucked up. Uh, I mean, cut... No, 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 no. Just cut a line down your bus and expand it by one. Or maybe but two. I expand need to expand it by, it by two. two. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I guess I can do it on the left-hand side because I have less stuff on that. Alright, that's a lot to do. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the... In the... In the... Oh! Part, but... Fuck! 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 <laughs> ah! Well, I got it, so it's slowly going to the right, sort of. However, it's also going... Oh, God, I'll be back later. I'm yeah. just watching you run off into the distance, and I'm having a great time doing that. I should have taken my... I should have taken my car. <laughs> Fine. It's okay, it's gonna donk into a wall soon, unless it hits another dune. I might have to traverse the entire fucking map for this. <laughs> Alright, we'll extend these by two. Oh, the problem is it's just slowly leaving my sight range. And I'm really worried yeah, it's going to... have no gonna... idea where it's going to end up. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned that it'll somehow manage to turn. And uh -huh. then I'll lose it completely. And yeah. I have to start over. Okay. I mean, here's the thing. If that uh, happens, I can... just make another desert bus. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, I can still see the glass blocks, and it seems to have stopped. Uh, I don't know what stopped it. But it's definitely stuck on, I hope, a rock. <laughs> this bus was raring to go. It's like, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to deliver these people. What? There are no people? Whatever. I don't care. I'm a bus. <laughs> I'm like, no. I need oh. uh, uh, buses are buses are the perfect vehicle for get the fuck out of my way. I'm a yeah. bus. Yeah. Oh shit. We need to um. I need to clear out some hard drive space, and we need to play uh, Grand Theft Auto Five at some point. Oh yeah, it is yeah, wedged between between like three rocks or one big, very big rock. One way or another. Ah, oh, good. I didn't have to traverse the entire map. I think I made it like <laughs> halfway. Uh huh. Whew. Yeah, we need to play some uh, GTA for sure. Because I've owned it for forever, and we've never played it, and Grumps. We played it, like, once. Or, I played it once, and it, uh, it didn't work. Uh, imagine if, like, the entire city was artifacting. Oh. But that sounds like it didn't work at all. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. They fixed it, but then nobody else was willing to play with me, except for Rock War. Which, mm -hmm. I mean, Rock War is an okay dude. But fuck Rock War. <laughs> I'm just like, is he just gonna leave it at that statement? Because that would be pretty funny. Or, but fuck Rock War. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I agree though. Him and his damn parrot spam. Yeah. Which I totally encouraged and at fault for. We might and we... would bring to Discord if I very well could. Uh, can't you? I uh, it uses no, the you same... get these custom emojis in Discord. Really? Did you look yep. it up? Yep. It's uh, one of the most requested features um, that they have right now. Okay, and I'm, need... I'm really surprised they don't have it. I'm going to need to modify this thing so it uh, tilts a little bit more. It's got a little bit of a right side drag, but I think it needs a little bit more of one. Yeah. 
Uh, but I, I do enjoy the party parrot quite a bit. I think it's oh, one of no, the funniest party things I've ever seen. Party parrot's great, and I'm really feeling kind of bad for the YouTube audience right now who has no idea what the hell party parrot is. They can look it up and be like, why is this funny? <laughs> and that'll be that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that about sums that up. You just have to kind of experience a party parrot spam for the first time, and then like, oh yeah, I get this. And then you can decide for yourself if you think it's stupid or not. But oh no, it, it, it's, it's it's good. It's it's absolutely stupid. It's probably one of the st True. stupidest possible things. It's just <laughs> like it's good stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, cockapos are really cool, though. I've, oh, yeah, um, absolutely. I've known a... Uh, I mean, I've not known a couple. I've, I've, I've known people that have them. Now, when you're I talking say about I know knowing... I in particular death. When you're talking about knowing cockapos, Bird, are we talking yeah. like, you know, uh-huh, uh-huh, or are we talking about like, eh? I mean, uh, I knew the cockapos name, but like, yeah, I get too shy around them, and I'm just like, yeah... I, do you want to hang out? No? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Guys, I'm not making a school bus. I don't- uh, normal city buses do not have extending stop signs. No, they don't. Although, to be fair, I'm kind of making a coach. Because I couldn't resist putting in a pooper in the back. <laughs> I'm just making a I mean, a city. could you? I'm making you a city bus. gotta have a pooper in the back. I mean... Sometimes you just need that pooper. Exactly. See if I can... If I could put a thing that has, like, ads on it. Oh, yeah, I totally can do that. Now that looks nice. Okay. So our ads are gonna just be a couple of, like, these, like, signs. Oh, these signs are too big. Every once in a while, there's, like, this bizarre seam. Uh, and I can't tell, like, if if I, like, messed up or something. And it's uh -huh. always, like, just a random seam, like a graphic glitch. Uh, yeah. but I'm like, did I, did I mess up? Is this, like, not connected? Do I have to worry about this? <laughs> and it's, like, this mild neurosis with this game that always bothered me. Yeah. Ah, uh, I think that's a perfectly, perfectly valid thing to be worried about in this game. Oh yeah, so I was gonna say, um, uh, well you were, uh, well you were off having fun, uh, at actually doing something with yourself. I was judging all of Unsucky Sunday for the Let's Play subreddit. Yeah, you told uh, me about that a little bit. Yeah, it's, uh, no better or worse than back when we were that size. Or uh -huh. starting out. Uh-huh. I was actually really floored though. Really interesting part. Very few people had bad microphones. The uh, the whole, you need a good microphone or you will never make it, has caught on t to such a degree that there wasn't uh -huh. a single person with a bad microphone. Huh. There's like a number of people... That, that used thought, to be kind of a prevalent thing. I know. Uh, there were a couple of people that had friends that they were playing with that had terrible microphones. Uh -huh. That was yeah, frustrating. Yeah, but nobody it's submitted. Like, yeah. But, like, it was very obvious that it was a friend, or there was one guy who, um, mm -hmm. uh, whose video, uh, included him getting into a, uh, a flame battle with some, like, 12-year-old from Ukraine, uh, for the entirety. Wow. Yeah, I was like, don't do this. Find somebody interesting <laughs> to list, uh, to talk to. Because, uh -huh. holy shit, was that not fun. <laughs> uh, from, like, any That's... perspective. That sounds pretty unwatchable. <laughs> it was, it, like, the guy's commentary was good. His burns mm -hmm. were great, but I was just like, I don't want to watch this. That's pretty funny, though. <laughs> In a sense of, like, I can't believe somebody would submit that and be like, yeah, this is probably quality. Then again, uh, as somebody who, who judged on Sucky Sunday, the things that you see are just like, well, that's, um, that's real content. special. Yeah. yeah. 
for the most part it was good. There was one guy that was like, I'm gonna win this, and he shared... Uh, God, I don't even remember what it was. It was like such a non-content video, I was just like, are you sure? Because... Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. I don't know what this remix yeah. is, but I kind of like it. The, uh, the one that you're listening to right now with the singing is excellent. Yeah. I don't know what I'm listening to, but I am more than happy to be listening to it. Yeah, I'm gonna look at this, this up. Every once in a while it's something like, it's Wild Arms. Really? Huh. Huh. Alrighty then. Yeah, there's always just like random stuff with OC remakes. It's such a mixed bag. But like when it hits, it's like a okay, you know. I'm trying to put a license plate on my bus, but they're all uneven numbers. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do need a license plate on this thing, don't we? Yeah. It just makes sense. Yeah, every single sign. Uh, uneven block count. Huh. Maybe not do not enter. I think do not enter and the arrow sign are kosher. No, the arrow sign is, uh, three block. What the hell? Okay, I guess do not enter. Is three block. Motherfuck. Alright. I guess my license plate is literally just going to be cacti. <laughs> it is a desert bus, it makes perfect sense. Yes. Well, I'll have to color these as well. I don't know, this just, is it's... good. It's awfully moody for a scrap mechanic, though. No, but you know, it's just it's just kind of. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's just you know, every once in a while you gotta the you gotta appreciate the good remixes when they show up. Oh yeah. Even if they're slightly out of character for what moody. they're doing. Yeah. Let's, Let's see, we'll make these... License plates are never properly Wait. centered on buses. They are for this one! <laughs> Where are they placed then, usually? It's actually slightly off. I think on the left side. Uh, oh. So the drivers can see them better. Okay. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's do metal blocks here. Seems reasonable. Um... Yeah, that looks nice. Alright. Now, these two hatches... Uh, will this fit in? Oh, it will! Oh, and it'll look good when it fits in! Oh, interesting. If you paint a cactus, it only paints the rim around the outside. Yep. Huh. Never ran into that before, but then again, I've never tried painting a cactus. Yeah, that's not something you do very often, huh? <laughs> you know, as a, uh, as a New Mexican, <laughs> yeah. uh, did you ever, like, play with cacti as a kid? Oh, yeah, of course. The, I was always fascinated with how, like, if you're very careful with cactuses, you can, like, touch them and pick them up and they don't hurt you at all. Yeah. I got a fair amount of cacti splinters in my hands over yeah. the, I'm gonna say over the years. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I always, I always, like, tried to play with them and stuff. Seems like such a very New Mexican thing to do, huh? Yeah. Technically, it was most of what I did was in California. Uh, in New Mexico, mm -hmm. I actually ran into I ran into a cactus that uh, ended the whole Sucks. cacti play thing for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. My cousin, who I almost never saw, was visiting, and mm -hmm. I saw him in the distance. So I'm like, "Ooh!" And then cactus. And then I was like, "No." Oh. Yep. I uh, was hiking one time. 
And in an effort to, like, grab onto something, I grabbed onto a cactus, and I was like, well, that sucked. Yeah, that's... This and is... I said to do the rest of the hike with a handful of cactus. Ooh. Was not able to do anything about it. I'm not the kind of person that would have that for focus. I'd probably be trying to, like, gnaw them out or something, which would be worse. <laughs> I am... I was okay at dealing with it. It wasn't I... great, but I dealt with it. I have, like, terrible... Uh, mental focus and patience. Like, you know, uh, the whole, like, sit under the water waterfall type thing? Can't do it. Yeah. Then again, I wouldn't want to, because that sounds boring as sin, but, mm -hmm. you know. Alright. Well, you know what would be pretty legit? If there was a way to, like, control, like, the pitch of the bus, so you could, like, r like uh, tilt it down to let people, like, wheelchair their way onto the bus... Oh, dude! Th but I don't know if I'll be able to do that. That's too um, legit. No, you can. That actually be pretty easy to do, though. Um, just uh, put, depends on how you set your controllers up. Well, no, it really, just depends on how you set up your um. Oh God, I just painted the glass. Should not have done that. Um. Uh, all you need would be like a an arm that kind of like lowers what or raises one side or lowers the other. Like, um, do you kind of know what I'm talking about? Like, uh, you know nope. how Not if you had a leg here, I'm just going to animate something stupid. Uh, so if we had like, uh, normally, uh, normally your, your wheels, something like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm just going to put a seat on the side so it doesn't misbehave here. So normally it's like upright like this, and uh -huh. then you have the wheel coming down like this, uh -huh. and this, uh, uh -huh. or vice versa. You just have it like rotate around. You know, I've never tried this. What happens if I do this? <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Oh, dude, this is really nice, actually. Look at this. Huh. His it's just kind of a sassy... Oh, dude, I could put windshield wipers on my bus. I was gonna say, there's windshield wipers. Admittedly, it would only work when I turn, but still, it'd be funny. Yeah. Actually, you don't even really need to worry about it too much. Got it. Also, desert bus plus windshield wipers kind of just doesn't seem right. I... No. I... Well, it kind of depends on the desert. Driving through a uh, Californian desert sucks. You know why? Yeah, that's true. Bugs. Why? Bugs. Because, yep. um... Uh, it's... Oh, God, it's even worse than, like, Florida. Going to Florida was mm -hmm. gross. Uh... <laughs> our, our, like, windshield was just... Guts. Yeah, ew. Guts and... Gross and... Ugh. There are tons of bugs in Florida, so I'm not surprised. 